On July 23, 2008, a 600-foot tanker collided with a 200-foot fuel barge, tearing the barge in half. Over 280,000 gallons of thick, viscous fuel oil spilled into the Mississippi River near New Orleans. The spill was so serious that all traffic up and down the Mississippi was shut down. Within hours of the spill, federal, state, and local agencies launched into action to restore shipping commerce and to minimize environmental damage to the Mississippi River, the Mississippi Delta, and the Gulf of Mexico. Because the accident occurred 97 miles upriver of the Gulf of Mexico, there were many riverfront communities affected, all the way down to Venice, Louisiana. The first step in the cleanup process is to contain the oil, and responders deployed oil containment and deflection booms along the shorelines. Concurrently, response teams from NOAA provided spill trajectories based on local weather forecasts and river flow data. On top of that, several times a day, helicopters were deployed to monitor oil movement and shoreline impacts. We've been doing uh, regular overflights with the U.S. Coast Guard and uh, of, of the entire spill zone to track where the oil is, so presence, absence, how far downriver is it going, uh, the degree of oiling, percent cover, and also the nature, the character of the oil. Is it, is it thin sheens? Are we seeing, still seeing black oil? Is it hitting the shorelines? What concentration is it hitting the shorelines? Um, kind of doing uh, preliminary reconnaissance of the area so that um, we know where now to send our shoreline team. A unified command center was set up in Bell Chase, Louisiana, and hundreds of responders were deployed along the Mississippi. Because oil is hydrophobic, or water-hating substance, cleanup crews effectively used thousands of recycled pom-poms to clean it up. The oil is attracted to the pom-poms, which are made of plastic. This heavy fuel oil can cause serious environmental damage, particularly to birds, reptiles, and amphibians, which are abundant in the Mississippi Delta. Ingested oil is extremely toxic, and as the oil collects on bird feathers and wings, it renders them useless for flying. In the event of an oil spill, report oiled animals to clean up hotlines or local authorities. It's extremely important not to touch or handle them to prevent more harm. In the case of the New Orleans oil spill, the rapid response from government agencies and private contractors contained and cleaned up the river relatively quickly. This collective effort was critical to the Mississippi Delta, an area that is virtually impossible to clean up. 